Welcome to the Salty Strikes Fishing Channel and today um, we're going to do a catch, clean and cook of a black markie. Um, some people call them trash fish, some people just don't like them, but I don't know why. I know they got some big pin bones you got to cut out, but other than that there are some good white you know, fish and it's delicious. So we're going to, you're going to see us catch that, then we're going to fillet it up and we're going to take it back to the kitchen and you're going to see some fish tacos. So stick around and check it out. Holy crap, what the hell's going on here? Here we go. Oh man, what the hell is that? You got that shark. I better not, <laughs> there's no way. Oh man. That's a bit the the biggest margate I've ever caught. Yeah, we got some big ones here. Holy crap. Right on. I've never seen one that big. I, I thought it was a black drum at first. Yeah, look at that guy. Yeah, I've never caught one that big before. There's a 20 and a half uh, black margate there. That's the biggest one I've ever caught before. Man, that's pretty amazing. Pretty fish. All right, uh, welcome to the fillet table. I'm gonna, we're gonna do the uh, fillet up this uh, black margate real quick. I'll show you how I do that. You, know, you just get right here in the backbone. And I usually just work towards the head so I can find out where that bone is so we get as much meat as possible. And I come back around, kind of like how I do a uh, uh, sheep's head. Follow that backbone, all the way back down. Then once you get that, you know where the rib cage is. I just tend to follow it just down like that. Go right through right past that anal plane. Pass it up. Keep all the ribs there and you get all the meat. You know, it does have a good bit of pin bone, so we'll cut those out later. Let's do the other side real quick. See, I do it a little different because I'm right-handed when I come back to this other side. Just because I kind of do it backwards. And all the way through. And 
kind of tend to You just follow that root cage down. And I got a little slice in the dirt that I missed, but there you go two plays. Okay, yeah, I can feel those pin bones right through there, like the redfish. have a good bit of pin bones back here. You have to cut out a good chunk to get back to. There's just not, there's a lot of bones in that. just ripe with bones but you still get two big fillets out of that all right welcome to the salty strikes uh kitchen here um well first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to start out uh you know we're going to have a slaw with this uh, um tacos so we're going to start with uh, how we make that and it's pretty simple um you just take a you know a regular bag of like a coleslaw mix that you get, you know, it's basically just chopped up cabbage and carrots. You can do it yourself or, or what have you. But um, you just take two cups of coleslaw mix, and then you take a half of red onion, diced up, and then a quarter cup of mayo, one and a half tablespoons of sugar, a half a tablespoon of white vinegar, a pinch of salt and pepper, and you just mix it up all together, and you get this. Um, and you just then you put it in the fridge overnight, you know, it comes out really well. So you do have to do a little prep beforehand to do that, but if you know you're gonna have some fish tacos, you know, this is a great slaw recipe. All right, next, um, uh, we're gonna get the um, fish prepped and ready. First, we're gonna set the oven to uh, bake on 375, and while that's uh, preheating, um, you're gonna need a dish enough to, big enough to put the, um, the fish in. And you're just gonna put a coat of, you know, Pam spray down, and um, then you're gonna take your taco seasoning, and I like to be pretty liberal with, uh, and just coat each side of this this fish. Then you just stick in the pan. And then one little quick, uh, you know, little bit of extra to, you know, make it taste nice is uh, put a little bit of butter on it. And then now that uh, we got that ready, as soon as that oven hits uh, 375, we'll just slide this in there for 20, about 20 minutes, and then our fish is good to go. All right, the oven's at 375, so we're gonna put this fish into the oven for 20 minutes. And while that's in the oven, um, 
we're gonna make a little topping for our, our tacos. And uh, it's pretty simple. Um, you just take a, um, some mayo and some, we got some uh, sweet uh, chili sauce from Red Hot. And we just do like about a uh, one to two um, ratio. And you know, you just mix that to taste. And there you, there you have it. You know, you just drizzle a little bit of that on your tacos. While that fish is cooking, um, now we're gonna just uh, heat up our, our tortillas. And all we're gonna do is, uh, you know, we've got a pan here on the, on the stove and we're gonna put this on like a, yeah, you know, medium to medium low heat. And once that's hot, we're just gonna throw these on one at a time, uh, flip it over um, for on each side for about 45 seconds to a minute, um, and just crank out a couple of those, and then our, our soft tacos will be ready. Slap it down there. All right, so the, the fish is done cooking and um, we're gonna pull it out of the oven. And man, it, look how tender that is. Nice white flaky meat. If it's going to be delicious. All right, now that we got uh, all our ingredients sitting here, um, we're just going to combine them together and Little fish, the slaw, just a little bit of sauce on it. Wrap it up. Gotta just cut it in half. Nice taco. This is so freaking good. I promise you guys, you will love this recipe. And the next time somebody tells you black margate is a garbage fish, just tell them that they're a garbage cook because this is fantastic. So thanks again for joining us uh, in the Salty Strikes kitchen and we'll see you guys next time on the water. Thanks guys.